Hi guys, welcome back to Debbie's Collectible Dolls. I'm here to do Theme Thursday on a Saturday. Um, I almost recorded this on slow motion. I'm so glad I realised what I was doing before I actually recorded the whole video that way because that wouldn't have been fun. Oh, there's kids out on the street. In case you hear any children's voices, it's not in the house, but oh, we're in here. Um, before I start, I just wanted to send my love and thoughts to Suzanne over at Suzanne's Babies. Um, if you haven't seen her video yet or you don't follow her channel, she's just lost her beautiful little fur baby, Chloe. Um, anyone who follows her channel will know Chloe very well. And um, I, I don't really know what to say. Um, it's it's horrible it's it's just dark and horrible and Suzanne I'm thinking of you um probably right now you can't think of Chloe without crying I know that um but you will be able to think of her and smile in time it could take a long time but you will um let me just show you this let me let me just kind of here onto my bedroom wall there there's my little Tasha up there. It took a long time before I could think of her and smile, but I can now. She's she's beside my Bronte posters up there, Emily Bronte. Um, but there she is. She's always with me. And uh, Chloe will always be with you, Suzanne. So I just wanted to let you know a lot of people are going to miss your little girl. Um, right. Let's get on to this. We've got Arwen here in blue for the blue part of the theme Thursday. Um, I just bought this. Um, I couldn't resist it and she is the first one getting to wear it. It is a blue bubble romper and it's kind of like a sea sucker material, but not quite. I'm not good on materials, so I don't know. It's got this huge collar, which is really pretty with a lace trim to it. And it came with this headband, which I've had to tie a little knot in behind the bow. Fortunately, it's got a huge bow, so you can't see the knot. Because even though it's tiny baby, it could fit an elephant. And uh, she's got these Nora Batty tights on that are cream. And if you don't know Nora Batty, it's from a comedy, a very long-running comedy in the UK. It's finished now, but um, there's an old lady in that show and she wears stockings that are very wrinkly and her name is Nora Batty and every time I see tights like this I think of Nora Batty and they are huge on my tiny baby Arwen but I think they're adorable <laughs> so there she is in the blue and she is on this blue blanket which obviously part of the theme but it's got little stars and moons on it so it fits in for the space part of the theme Thursday even though it's Saturday. So she's got a blue space theme blanket. This actually glows in the dark, but I always have it folded up out of the way. So I don't think I've ever seen it actually glowing in the dark, but there you go. Space blanket, that's blue with Arwen, my little hobbit baby in blue. And then over here, I have got my little Maggie and uh, I bought this recently as well. This is a sleep sack or a um, sleeping bag for babies. And I've wanted one for ages, but they're quite pricey. And I've been waiting for one to go on sale for years in Asda. And finally, this one went on, to on sale and I had to snap it up. It's uh, white and then it snaps on the shoulders. And as you can see, it's a sack like this at the bottom. And... Um, it zips up the side so you can pop them in there and keep them very nice and warm and cosy. But it's Toy Story, as you can see. Not just Toy Story, there's some Monsters Inc. on there. Look, we've got some, um, there we go. We've got Sully and Mike. But among the Toy Story characters, we've got an alien. There we go. We've got those cute little green aliens with the three eyes. So I thought, yep, that works for this theme too. Because this literally is the only baby outfit I've got with aliens on it. So I was very proud to pull this out and use this one because I've never had an alien on my YouTube channel before. And just, just noticing the little um, slinky dog there, the sausage dog. Um, and yeah, so there she is. She's just wearing a white sleeper underneath with the little scratch mittens on and a white fluffy bonnet. Let's take her dummy out so you can see her face there. 
there she is and she actually has a lovey with which is an elephant and it's got stars on it so another part of the theme there i was really pleased to get that little sleep sack for her and yeah it's uh pretty straightforward just the two babies this week um doing a lot of catching up i don't know what happened last week i honestly don't have an explanation uh, I was busy on Thursday as I usually am and I thought right I'll just do my YouTube video on Friday as I usually do and suddenly it was this week. I don't know. I, I just genuinely don't know what happened to Friday and Saturday. I was just here this week so I don't have any explanation as to why I didn't do last week's video but here I am anyway um, doing this one with two new outfits that one and this one i think i might take that off for now though because it's um it's warmed up a little bit here in the uk not massively but um enough i think to take her out of the thick woolly clothes um i put the bird feeders back in the tree yesterday and hung the solar lights back on the tree i took them all down when we were having those terrible storms the wind didn't seem to want to stop, so I just left them down and I thought yesterday, you know what, I think I think we're all right now. Spring is really starting to spring up, um, so I put them back up and then last night the wind started and I was very nervous that they would all be on the floor this morning, but they're not. So obviously didn't get quite as bad as it has been. Um, so I'm looking forward to getting out into the garden a little bit, uh, slowly tidying things up and yeah. It is on its way spring. I posted some photographs or a photograph of some tulips around the corner from where I live. And that's really nice actually to see nobody's wrecked them because most years somebody comes along and probably the one that made that noise outside, if you heard that, and kicks the heads off the tulips, which is really annoying because it's so nice to see the flowers coming out after a long winter and it has been a long winter. So um, yeah, I hope you're all seeing signs of spring. Unless you're in Australia, because then probably won't be, because it's not going to be spring there, it's going to be autumn. Yeah. All right, guys, I will talk to you all soon. Have a lovely rest of your day, Saturday here. And um, yeah, enjoy the weekend. I'll talk to you all very, very soon. Welcome any new subscribers. I've seen I've got a couple of new ones, so welcome to my channel. And uh, I'll talk to you very soon. Take care, guys. Bye bye.